Hey gang, Bolt Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at Robots in Disguise Bruticus. This was one of the last figures, or new figures, to come out of the Robots in Disguise line. And this figure is a Cerberus. I don't think we've ever had a Transformers Cerberus before. Now, for those of you who don't know, a Cerberus is the three-headed dog that guards the gates to Hades. I don't know what to make of this figure. The Beast Mode isn't bad. I actually like the Beast Mode. It's something unique, it looks orig it's original, and it doesn't look too bad. The Robot Mode, however, is... well, we'll get to that. I'm not really sure what the designers were thinking about in this mode, because it doesn't look bad, but it just looks like, okay, we've got a doggy head with a saw and a spike, we've got a lion head with bat wings, and then we have another head with a mohawk and then a tail with multiple implements of pain. So, transformation then. So to start, we're gonna come back here and actually just fold down the front legs, and that will allow us to fold back these uh, doggy back legs. So we have it like that. And this is where it gets a little weird. Um, we'll fold out the side heads like this and then we can fold up uh, what was the mohawk fold that out and fold and flip it around to form arms these are the robot arms next we're going to take the back legs and then fold them back down and fold them in again return them to their original positions because that will give us clearance to fold them up to the back of the doggy mode. Then once that's done, we'll fold this section that folded out straight up like that. And then we're supposed to, according to the directions, fold it around. But doing this is a lot easier said than done. So I'm just going to get it out of the way and then get it straight up like that. And we'll fold the legs down. Now, what I don't know if you saw what I did was I also folded these parts down like that. And then we'll fold the legs around like that. And just trying to get everything in such a way that we can move forward. Then we'll take the lion head and open up the mane in the front and then fold out the bat wings and then bring the face down like that while keeping everything out of the way, which is tricky. And believe it or not, this is the robot mode. Now, we're not done quite yet. What we can do in this mode is fold out these back legs. And there's the uh, Decepticon crystal, by the way. And then these back legs can fold out extra arms that act as stabbing weapons. So here we have probably the ugliest robot mode I have ever seen on the planet. And the reason I'm not using my turntable is because this guy is incredibly difficult to keep standing. Just all this junk uh, up top makes it very hard for me to get this guy standing. Now one thing I do want to show you is he does have three different faces in robot mode. Why? I have no idea. And the directions at some point say to lift this up and then close it. So I was th I'm thinking there was supposed to be a gimmick or something here, but this, this is just a piece of plastic. It doesn't do anything. So, Bruticus is very, very confused <laughs> and confusing. Uh, he is a, he's a Decepticon or a Predacon, but man, I, I cannot recommend this figure. Um, this is not a good figure. It's not a pleasant figure to look at. It's not a pleasant figure to play with. It's, a, it's an unpleasant figure to try and pose. And it's insane. I will give it that. Points for originality, but I cannot recommend this guy at all. You know what? If you want to pick him up, go right ahead, but this is not one of my favorite figures. 
And I'm just going to stay, say, stay far away from this thing. 